What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, we're on Reddit. You're returning subscribers as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to jump right into this. About an hour ago, in fact, less than an hour ago, the media uh, played a video that I want to share with you, a news video. And it talks a lot about the situation between uh, why Winter Smith, the two-year-old from Lansing, Michigan, was subsequently killed by 26-year-old Rashad Trice, the ex-boyfriend of Winter Smith's mother. Now, when I play this for you guys, it'll answer a lot of questions that I had in the other video that I did where I said there's some questions that will never be unanswered. In this video, after I play this, we'll put two and two together, and this whole thing is bad. But one thing is good, you know, one thing that's a silver lining in this whole thing, the charges will be federal. They will not be on the state level. With the charges being federal, he faces the death penalty. And this is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Guys, take a look at this video. We're going to come back and talk about it. But listen, as you're watching this video, do not turn away. At the end, they're going to show some uh, snippets of the police video when he was apprehended. And I want you to watch and listen to what he says in one part. And it'll clear a lot of stuff up about some of the questions we had. Like I said, we'll talk about it. Let's go. Breaking here at five, this man suspected of kidnapping two-year-old Winter Cole Smith is hit with federal charges. Rashad Trice, according to federal prosecutors, strangled the toddler with a pink cell phone cord. Feds announcing these charges against Trice late this afternoon and detailing exactly what happened Sunday night in the hours after the toddler was abducted from her home in Lansing. Mara McDonald live on Detroit's east side where her body was ultimately found. Mara, the feds say the autopsy is pending, but they believe she was strangled. That's right, Kimberly, with that pink cell phone cord, and here's why. That pink cord was found on winter here in this alley. It was also found in the car that Rashad Trice was driving. Let me take you through everything that the feds are saying at this hour. Federal prosecutors detailing their evidence in a thorough complaint. Sunday night, according to them, Winter was snatched by Trice after he and Winter's mother, Samari Cole, had gotten into a terrible fight over money. According to the complaint, Cole stabbed him in self-defense, and he then stabbed and sexually assaulted her. Cole ran to get help, leaving Winter in the apartment along with her one-year-old son. Trice isn't the father of Winter. He is the father of Cole's one-year-old son. When police got there, the one-year-old was still in there, but Trice had taken Winter, stolen a car, and was on the road. When the Amber Alert went out, Trice's family reached out to him on the phone. This text exchange was included in the charging document. It's Trice's uncle telling him he loves him, he can help him, and blaming Cole for everything. As you can see, Trice tells him he needs to end it all. Pictures from the Impala he stole show remnants of the pink cell phone cord. The remainder of that cord was found on Winter when her body was found in this alley. Back here alive, we are expecting to have a family vigil for Winter out here where she was found, expecting to have the paternal side of her family out here, you know, primarily. That's A.J. Smith and his family who live down here in Metro Detroit. And something else, Kimberly and Devin, to consider. These are federal charges leveled by the U.S. attorney in the Western District of Michigan, and that makes a critical difference here because it means that if Trice is convicted, the death penalty is on the table for him. We're live on Detroit's east side. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. That's such an important distinction to note. All right, Mara. Well, Karen Drew is working on another angle of this story for Monday's newscasts. Her investigation giving us an inside view of the manhunt and the arrest of Rashad Trice. It's the video everyone will be talking about. He just tried to swerve in his car. Only on Local 4, the chase to find Winter Smith. Hands up! This is the beer. Watch for yourself how police track down the suspect. The search of the car. Where's the baby? 
All right, guys, that was the uh, video, and I hope you guys caught a lot of the stuff that answered the questions in the video I made yesterday about this dude. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Before I jump into these questions and talk with you guys, I want to just say this. After looking at all of the uh, details, the facts as we know it right now, this guy right here had a lot of feminine energy. He was confused in his masculine state. And I can prove it. He argued with this girl, right? And couldn't resolve the conflict, no matter what. The doors were open for him to walk away, and he didn't. He ran right into the fray where he didn't have to go. Do you know this guy rode a bike from one part of town, and it's supposed to be a long distance, after arguing with her all the way over to the house to argue over money? He rode a bike all the way over there to argue. Think about that. What man does that? What man does that? Another thing is this. With him being like that, you can never have any kind of peace with someone of the female species if you match in their energy. He should have known that. Well, then again, you can't tell nowadays because, I mean, people don't have fathers in their lives. And I think this is a perfect example of somebody who didn't have their dad in their lives and they define manhood or what they see and hear and put together in their own head. It's messed up. Listen, guys, let's go over the first thing. Like I said, the charges are federal. The feds pick this up. At minimum, he'll get life in prison. But uh, he's facing a death penalty. Now, the way the feds work is, because I was in the feds, the way the feds work is they look at all your past crimes and then they give you, it's like a multiplication table, like all your offenses times the amount of years you get and they put it together and it tells you the time frame of months. They give you time in months, not years, you know. And with his situation, he'll never get out of court and never get out of jail. See, another thing that's good about the feds, they do everything psychological, meaning the reason why you did a crime will affect the type of time you get. This right here was some malice mess. It's, a, it's stupid. It's brazen. It's callous. They're going to smoke him over that. You know, he'll get a psychiatric eval, but I mean, he won't say anything. They're going to look right through this and be like, okay, this guy was a straight up asshole, and this is why he's in the position he's in. And they're going to throw the book at him. This crime has got a lot of media attention, and it should. That little girl should still be here. But <clears throat> another thing with that is he's facing penitentiary time, he's not going to no camp. This is not can't. This is a serious, serious crime. So where he's going, where everybody's like, I hope he goes to some place. Federal penitentiary is no joke. Nobody wants to go there. He's going to go through hell. And he's a child killer. If he makes it, if he makes it. Now, I'm going to tell you something. He will be in isolation for a little bit until this whole trial is over. So, I mean, can't nobody get to him, you know, but that's where he's at right now. He's so dumb. He's stupid. And I'm just being honest. Here you got a 26-year-old man with a baby, didn't think nothing out about it, and threw his whole life away. Fuck off. He's dumb. Said many times, simplest things can get you put in that plantation. Prison is nothing but slavery. You'll see it when you get there. If you're smart enough to see it with your eyes open. They'll make you get up, tell you when to sit, stand, wake up, all kind of stuff. Working for nothing. Pennies on a dollar a day. You'll see. Number two. The argument was over money. But he killed Winter over him being stabbed. Hear me on that. They argued over money. He came over there. I guess he wanted some money or something was going on where she must have owed him money. He needed the money right now. She didn't have it. An argument ensued. He got belligerent. He has a history of fighting on this girl, right? Going back and forth, she pulls the knife, stabs him first. That's the thing I didn't know. She stabbed him first in self-defense. Of course, he jumped on her. She stabs him, right? Instead of getting out of there, he gets the knife, stabs her, then sexually assaults her. Now, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? His sense of 
manhood I'm, I'm, uh, uh, what a man is, is is totally off he's like a child with a, with, a, with a grown with grown testosterone a lot of people like rapists and stuff like that uh ladies out there they use their dick as a weapon or to assert their dominance on them on, on, on a female that's why rape is considered a hate crime this guy right here by when he, by him getting stabbed he turned on her you know what i'm saying it was like a strike against his manhood he stabbed her and then he assaulted her. He violated her. Presumably with the kids in the house. I don't know if they was in the same room or whatever, but I mean, how he's so off the hook, you don't even know. You don't. Then look at this. Once he does that and she gets up and escapes, leaving her two children in the house. That's how you know it was serious. She got out and ran to go get help. Now he stabbed. He didn't get the money he wanted. Didn't get the respect. So he's going to take it by violating the section. And on top of that, she's not there now, but her baby is. So instead of taking his kid, he takes her kid for collateral because he wanted money from her. And he's mad because she stabbed him. Winter was a casualty of war, y'all. And that's messed up. Like I tell you, watch who you have your kids around and what environment you have your children in. You never know. If a man strike you, he'll damn sure kill your kid. If the opportunity presents itself, all the stars lined up for Winter to be uh, murdered. And it's sickening. Sickening. She's seen the signs. Yeah, she broke up with him, but he still had access to her, even though she had all that stuff, that uh, re restraint order and all that stuff wasn't enough. Dealing with a grown ass man. That's a boy in the head. Listen. While he's driving with the girl, with, with the baby. He calls his uncle, not his father. He calls his uncle, texts his uncle, won't answer the phone. He going to check because, you know, by the time everybody know he took the baby and he took the car. So you steal a car, stab the girl, sexually assault the girl, kidnap the baby. He knows it's over. Look at the text messages. Hey, man, I love you, man. Don't do that, man. Come over here. Talk to me. You know, the uncle trying to console him. I got to end it now. He got to end it now. I don't know if that money that he 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 was trying to get, he contributed towards something towards winter. Nah, but either way, she got caught in the crossfire of negligence between two crazy people. And I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. I thought I looked at that story I did last night. When they was talking about his criminal past, him beating on her and stuff like that, and they going back and forth, she still had a baby bomb. That tells me what they both had a ghetto romance. So we're not gonna take her out of this equation. She might have woke up a little, you know, came to a sense a little bit later, but she contributed to a lot of this BS that happened. Seriously, she has, and I'm not saying it's her fault that the baby got killed because I mean this last incident was in, uh was uh what's the name, Co uh not coincidental. But sometimes, even though you have a child by somebody, you need to cut them off totally. You do. It's messed up. It's messed up. This little girl should still be here. Should still be here. Check this out, too. Did you see the traffic stop at the end? Did you see the traffic stop at the end? The police was not playing with him. They bust the window out, tased him. Where's the girl? She with her mom in Lansing. See that? Now, let's put this all together. He took the child. He's driving. He's hurt. Right? He's reflecting on what happened. The baby's in the car. You know she's crying and scared because she just witnessed her mom getting stabbed and all of this other chaos and carnage. She's crying. Constantly on his mind. Right? He's hurt. Mad. Can't get her. He got to get his get back. The baby right there probably won't be quiet. That's why he strangled the baby. But his plan was to kill this child all along. This guy is dog shit. He's dog shit. And he going to get what he going to get. Trust me. This is so sickening. So sickening, guys. He going to lie to the police. She's with her mom. Asshole. That's how I know he got a child's mind. They know you took the car. They know you took the, uh, what's the name? They know you disrespected and violated the woman. No, you stabbed her. They know everything. If they come up and say, where's the girl? That means they know everything. He gonna lie. <laughs> that shows you he don't have a man's mind. He got a child's mind. 
First thing you're gonna do is lie like he's a six year old. Oh, no, I, I didn't do. Everybody, everything points to you. You fool. Everything points to you. I don't understand this at all, and I'm not even trying to understand it. Take this motherfucker and, and, and boil him in pig fat. Because, I mean, his goose is cooked. And he has no idea what's waiting for him. I was there. He has no idea. Them people up there not going to play. He going to be known when he get in there. And he's a tiny guy. I didn't. I thought he had some size on He's a tiny dude. Monday, they're going to drop that video. And you know I'll be all over that with another video. Watch him look stupid on the, on the, on the cameras. They lucky I wasn't there, man. I lost my badge. He doing that to that child. And he ain't talking. Man, look, they need to fix this stuff. But uh, guys, leave me a comment, man. Tell me, tell me what you think some of the stuff I said. If you agree or disagree, man, it just seems like, you know what I'm saying? It's all coming into order now. This guy right here should have never had kids, a girlfriend, nothing. He should have focused on himself. You up there fighting with police and other videos and all stuff. What in your head never says, you know what? Hey, man, this is not who I wanted to be. This is not who I was born to be. A lot of times when we out there and we follow a fictitious way of life and thinking that things, something like it thinks things are like this, but they're really like that. We need to stop and reflect on ourselves. We need to reflect on who we used to be when we were our most happiest. Instead of what the world tells us we got to be with a bravado attitude and a fictional uh, realm of reality, that, a, a realm that we see as reality of how to be with a woman, how to be with a child, how to be in the streets. Dumb shit. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Region channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.